Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm here at Mission Beach in beautiful San Diego. It's a gorgeous day. People are out surfing. In case you have been missing the vlogs, I'm here in San Diego for the AAD meeting. Went to some talks this morning and decided to come on over here and enjoy some time at the beach this uh, early afternoon. Such a gorgeous day. Ah. these little lending libraries. I'm not going to take a book, but I just like to see what they have. Oh. <laughs> Anyone read this? I've never read any. I don't think I've read anything from that author. This is such a good book. I also made it into a movie. It was pretty good. Ooh, what's this? The Book of Lost Things. It's like the big, big bad wolf there. The Week End book? What's this about? See, I say I'm not gonna take one and then I find something like this. This looks too good not to take. Is it poems? Travels with a donkey? The Christmas Key, a Twilight Texas novel. I see these at the library from time to time. Ann Tyler's Digging to America. Anyone read that? Y'all know I can't, I can't walk away from books. What is this, Marianne George Sand? I haven't been reading on this trip. I brought my book, but I've been reading. Then we have, this looks like a library book, <laughs> like a real library book. King County Library System, yeah. No bueno, the sweetness of water. This looks like a good book. Oh, Nancy Drew, I love these. $2, that's a steal. I kind of want to take these because <laughs> they're really good. This is my coolie bar hat. I really like it because it's easy to pack in your bag. It collapses, but you can adjust the brim. It's great for walking on the beach because you know like you'll be walking and the wind's in your face. You can tilt it down, but if you want to look at somebody or read your book, you can kind of mold it up a little bit so you still get, you still get protection, but you can actually see. I have this white one and then I also have one in like a khaki color. I never travel without a sun hat. I shouldn't say never. There have been a few times I've forgotten. Sunscreen and running shoes so I can run or walk. 
had to go to the bathroom, so I'm getting another coffee to pay my dues. <laughs> we have little donuts. This is Trident Coffee. Look at how cute their merch is. They have a pretty mermaid. I love it. Might have to get a bag of coffee. Like, oh, thank you. <laughs> He's trying to call me and I'm over here in the zone. Back on the boardwalk. Oops, going off to the mud. <laughs> that might not be fun. I'm back where I started, where the Uber dropped me off. Looks like the roller coaster is up and running. Plunge. Something tells me that's like $45 to go on. For more talks. I love the way it's designed in here. <laughs> Let's talk about nail light and plants. So how to deal with this? First of all, be sure of the diagnosis. If you are not a nail expert or, or happy with this suspect, take a biopsy and be sure of the diagnosis. Treat it early and aggressively. So lichen planus is a really nail emergency. Follow up the patient in time because you will have to show if the nail lichen planus responds to treated or not and be ready for second options in this time. Reason for treatment are really an impairment of quality of life that has now been shown in patients with nail lichen planus so and here you see the number of hair disorders that have been uh, treated with oral minoxidil with good results. So this is a, a paper from Dr. Gupta, who you see here in the first row, showing that the efficacy and side effects are dose dependent. Okay, so the, the, the higher you go with the dose, the most likely you get side effects. So it's always in finding the right balance for each patient. Well guys, I'm back from the conference. I really enjoyed those talks and I am dressed to go to a cocktail hour and then dinner event again. So I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm pretty excited. It's supposed to be at this gallery, so we shall see. But I just touched up my makeup and one thing I like to use for perking up my makeup my eye makeup, my eyeshadow, is not necessarily to redo my eyeshadow because that's kind of cumbersome, but rather to come in the inner part of my eye, my upper eyelid with the Twinkle and Pop. Is it gonna focus? Twinkle Pop, Twinkle Pop Glittering Eye Stick. I just really think that it opens up your eyes without you really having to go over, over the top trying to fix your eyeshadow after it's kind of worn off from throughout the day. So that's what, what I have. I'm wearing my pearl earrings that I've had for years. Got some black slacks and these cute little flatties that I got on Amazon. They've got the cute little bows. <laughs> so I'm ready to go. All right, allegedly it's here. We are planted in 120 countries, having 8 manufacturing plants, more than 11,000 employees all over the world, and if we consider the three categories, we are saying that Coty is a global beauty powerhouse and beauty player. We have, last year we got uh, 5.6 million uh, net revenue. Oh. Oh man, I'm really having a good time. 
So I leave tomorrow um, at 3 p.m. So that means I don't have to wake up super early. I can take my time, <laughs> get into the airport. Fingers crossed there's no fiasco with my flight. I'm gonna take you guys along with me tomorrow, which will be in next weekend's vlog. The saga of San Diego continues, why not? But today I really enjoyed those talks that I went to regarding oral minoxidil for hair loss. And I also enjoyed the talk on nail lichen planus. Let me know in the comments if you have lichen planus. If so, you need to check out my video on lichen planus. I talk all about it, but that talk that I went to was all about treating lichen planus of the nails. And you saw how it can affect people in varying degrees, mild, moderate, severe. And the talk was going through basically a treatment approach depending on severity and extent. The thing with nail lichen planus is you can get it to go away. You can get the nails to grow out eventually healthy again. It's a chronic and relapsing condition, however. So even though you can get it clear, the patient needs to follow up with you regularly. As a dermatologist, you need to examine their, their nails for the early signs of recurrence because it does come back. And then treating it, the first signs that it's recurring, that way you get on top of it. It's also always good to hear from our colleagues in other countries kind of how they do things. Sometimes they do things different, for example, um, we don't do a lot of what's called mesotherapy here. I mean, to, some people do, but it's not as commonly pursued. Um, mesotherapy is basically introducing medication directly into the dermis, like through a needle, instead of just applying it. So they do that for minoxidil. And one of the talks I went to, they even use a tattoo gun, same kind of tool that a tattoo artist uses to introduce minoxidil into the scalp, as well as finasteride. And the benefit of using the tattoo gun is similar to using microneedling, is that not only do you introduce it in, but it stimulates um, the healing pathways that can benefit the hair loss as well. So that was cool to hear about people doing that. See, you learn a lot of little practical tips and tricks at these meetings. Um, Anyway, so the dinner I went to tonight was um, put on by Philosophy. I don't use Philosophy skincare much. Really haven't given it, really, ha I really don't have any experience with Philosophy skincare, like using it myself, other than their body washes. But I was surprised to hear how much R&D they have behind the brand. I didn't realize that the brand was started by an esthetician and she sold the company to Cody, C-O-T-Y, but they now have quite a bit of extensive R&D behind them. So that was interesting to hear about. You guys, I saw a TikTok today um, with somebody wearing the Aquas towel, but get, get this, and I even tried it. I didn't, I didn't, I took it down before I came on here. I should have left it up. Instead of doing this like I do, putting the button in the back she put the button here over her head like this collected her hair twisted it around pretend my hair is in there i don't want to do it twisted it around and pinned it like this so that's another way to do it i never really even considered that i like doing it my way though <laughs> um but I think that that uh, other way though, I think would be good if you had in like some kind of leave-in hair treatment, like a conditioning hair mask that you want to use under occlusion. Um, I'm wearing the ladybug PJs again tonight. These are so comfy. All the pajamas I've ever gotten from that Joy Spun brand, I just love so much. I've got my suitcase 60% packed. I hate packing the dirty clothes. It's always like kind of an awkward thing. Let me know in the comments, how do you pack dirty clothes after, especially after you've been on a trip for more than two days? I, what I do, I have these packing cubes and I bring stuff in, all my clothes folded up in packing cubes. And then I just fold the dirty clothes, put them in the packing cubes. And then when I get home, I obviously wash my clothes, but I also wash those packing cubes. 
So they just kind of become their own version of dirty clothes because I pack the dirty clothes in them. But let me know in the comments, what do you do? Because I feel like if you get a giant plastic bag or something, it ends up taking up way more space or like a laundry bag, reusable laundry bag and wadding all the clothes in there, that ends up taking up a lot of space. But before packing cubes, I used to use the laundry bag that the hotel room gave you. If I was staying in a hotel, that is. Um, or I would bring like a garbage bag. And like I said, it was always like really awkward. But the packing cube thing makes all the difference. Coming in with the Causer X lip sleep mask, this. I really like. I like this one and then Neutrogena has a really good one that doesn't come in a pot, which I prefer. I don't like the pot as much because this one, like I'm about, I want to say mm, a, more, a little more than a third of the way through. And I've been using this regularly for a while, um, but it's kind of, you kind of feel like you're digging down in there after a certain point. All right, guys, what a fun day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, enjoyed going for a walk on the beach, going to some talks, then a nice dinner. It was a lot of fun. I'm having a great time. Like I said, I leave tomorrow, but I have time in the morning. Of course, I'm going to vlog the day. So make sure you come back next weekend to see what adventures I get into on my last day leaving here, going to the airport. But I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.